you're watching Better.TV. Home, family, life. Well, buying makeup and skincare products is about to get a whole lot easier. And even better, we're going to help you save some money. Paula Vigan is the author of Don't Go to the Cosmetics Counter Without Me. And let me tell you, you're going to want to get a purse big enough for this book <laughs> because you don't want to go to the drugstore or department store without it. This yes. is your makeup and skincare Bible. I don't even go without it. I can't remember everything. I mean, it's, you know, 1,200 pages. That's a lot of information. It is. You cover every skincare company from A to Z Pretty in much. here and Pretty all much. of the products. Pretty so much. let me first ask you how you became the cosmetics cop. Well, I've been writing books about the cosmetics industry since 84. It was a personal little saga, my own problems. And in 1979, in the United States, the FDA made ingredient listings on products mandatory. It's was an amazing moment because the rest of the world actually didn't have that law till like the late 1990s. That means I could tell what was in a product. Right. So, for example, this, this is one of my best bargains. This is the essence of my book. This is a creme de la mer cleanser $65 I was just gonna say sounds expensive it, okay oh, well it's an Estee Lauder sure. company creme de la mer whole story behind it $65 this is a cleanser at the drugstore CeraVe it's a new product it's a brilliant product and the creme de la mer is a great cleanser too this is $65 for six ounces this is $12 for 12 ounces, and there is no way your skin is going to be $65 better versus the CeraVe. The formularies are such that you will get great products from both of them. Your skin would be nicely cleansed and soft, but the difference would be you could go out to lunch, pay rent, I mean, and you would still have great skin. Which is the great thing about your book, because your evaluations of all the products aren't based on what you personally like. Oh, no. You have oh. broken, no, because how could you test all would of these? It would be impossible. It's broken down on what the products consist it's, of, right? It's about formula. Everything is about formula. It's kind of like chocolate cake. When you buy a chocolate cake, you want to know that it really contains chocolate. You want to know that, it, you know, the sure. sugar, if it's fat-free. What I'm doing is saying, what are the claims? What is the research behind the claims and the formularies? And then where should you be spending your money and what you should be avoiding given the published research, not the marketing claims, not the advertising right. claims, not the sales pitch, but what is the fact behind the product? I quote all my research in the book. And, you know, and also on my website at cosmeticscop.com, I have a lot of free reviews. I took a lot of the reviews from the book and put them free on the website. So you can kind of take a look at how I do my work. I explain my process so you can get a sense of, you know, and then you can make sense of the insanity in the cosmetics industry. So you buy beautiful products and you look beautiful. Well, let's talk about looking beautiful with makeup. I mean, this is one of the biggies. When people go to buy foundation, right. it seems every day there's a new foundation on the market. You have an expensive one here. Right, And Chanel's. your average drugstore brand. So. Right, and the L'Oreal version. So what we do, now makeup was done a little bit differently than skincare. The reviews for formulary is all about published research, the ingredients. But makeup, absolutely, we did testing. I have a team. We're looking for comparisons when because it is about tech Texture and how long something lasts. We had a, like for example with mascara, waterproof mascara, we do our annual dunk test. We take like a hundred waterproof mascaras and get 50 women, put different mascaras on different eyes, they swim in my pool. Whoever comes out with their mascaras to long, that got that mascara got a happy face. But that's what works. That's what everyday women want to know. Right. So and so and oh here's an interesting one. So you know they have all those mineral Makeups. And I was going to ask you that because that is the hot ticket right, right. now. Right, that's the hot ticket. So first of all, you know, they make claims about them being all natural. Sure. They're not all natural. The first ingredient in most wow. of them is bismuth oxychloride, and that's about as natural as polyester. Now, that doesn't make it bad. That doesn't make it no, bad. But, but you're not getting what you think you are. You're not getting what you think. But this one for MAC is very well done, but this one from Maybelline, it's 6 bucks. You would not be able to tell the difference. It is both are beautiful, but six bucks versus about thirty. I would go with the six buck one. I love this information. I have to ask you a couple of quick things okay. before we wrap up. Cellulite creams, do they work? No. Okay. What are <laughs> in a word? What about acne treatments? Because oh. you see all of these infomercials about acne yes. treatments. Yes. Well, the proactive one that is uh, on television, what the strong point of that line is, is their benzyl peroxide product. There is research, a study came out about two years ago, that benzyl peroxide is the state of the art, the first line of defense against acne. And you could do proactive, but it's really that one product in their four system that's the best product. Actually, Rodan and Fields, the doctors who do proactive, got bought by Lauder, and now they have a more expensive version. It, never mind. So, <laughs> But you could do it for a lot less um, from Oxy Lotion at the drugstore for like six bucks for one ounce, or Persigel Clean and Clear, about the same price for one ounce, and you're getting a benzyl peroxide product. Oh, Paracone came out with his benzyl peroxide oh, yes. product, $55. 
please. So it's benzoyl peroxide. Do the six buck. A lot one. of it is marketing. A lot of it is names. I'm telling you, this will save you money. Paula Begon has done all the research for you. She makes it easy. Spells it out. Don't go to the cosmetics counter without me. Paula, thank you. Thank you for saving our wallets. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and looking good. We'll there be you right go. back. Thanks for watching Better.TV. Always on with home, family, life. Email us at ideas at better.tv. Together, we make it better.